Now the first thing I'm going to do is pour out the ferrofluid onto the plate and make sure it's distributed evenly. When I drop the magnet onto the plate, it instantly forms a ball again, as you saw before. But you're probably wondering why spikes are forming. Well think about it like this. Ferrofluid is basically thousands of tiny iron particles. Tiny iron particles. Those particles line up with points where the magnetic field is strong and attempt to fully align with the field itself. When that happens, we see spikes because the surface tension from the oil puts a limit on how far they can go. Those particles line up with points where the magnetic field is strong an attempt to fully align with the field itself. The host experiences shortness of breath, loss of motor skills, and vertigo. Within 19 to 36 hours, convulsions, extensive internal bleeding, and respiratory failure take place. And as observed within 37 to 50 hours, DNA disintegration is achieved. 